Are you ready to have fun? This is the face of fun. We're gonna have fun. <laughs> in the heat, and the sand, and the wind. Today is an exciting day because we are going to Galveston. We're taking the opportunity to see all of the Galveston landmarks that we can stuff into a very short period of time. There are a few things in this world that my dad hates more than uh, beaches. <laughs> so I have brought snacks and Gatorade. We have four coolers in the car, so I feel like we've packed for a troop of like 12 children. The goal is to keep my parents cool and happy. In this kind of weather is asking a lot. Are we there yet? But we're gonna do our best. You look thrilled. <laughs> All right. Seagulls are basically the raccoons of the sky and they will eat just about anything. I brought an exquisite, diverse menu of delicious foods to see what seagulls' preferences are. They're hungry and they are uh, a little bit intense, so we brought protection. <laughs> we have grapes, we have bananas, and we have pineapple? Apparently they like pineapple. Guys, do y'all like pineapple? So far the seagulls rate the bread a 12 out of 10. Bananas were like a five out of 10. The Cheerios are like a three out of 10. The pineapples a two out of 10 and the grapes are a one out of 10, maybe a zero out of 10. The bread they love. It's not nutritious, but sometimes you just need McDonald's. These guys are quite polite. They're hungry, but not aggressive. Are you having fun, mom? Yes. Toasting bread for our breakfast sandwiches on the dashboard of our car is quite possibly the most Texan thing ever. We're doing lunch on a budget in the uh, parking lot of Moody Gardens. Lunch, it's 10 a.m. Now, we save money here, but then we spend $100 there. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Moody Gardens is a very popular and classic thing to do in Galveston, but I haven't been here since I was a kid, so it's been multiple decades since I've set foot in this building. That was your first time touching a stingray. Exactly. What was it like? It was nice. It's interestingly soft. I love those things where they let you touch the. I was thoroughly shocked petting the nose of a rhinoceros. It's soft. Like that, as a matter of fact. Very soft, very smooth. This was me when I had to wake up at six this morning.
we just found out that we can get into our hotel early. So we're gonna go freshen up and then we have a wedding to attend. On a scale of one to 10, how happy are you to be inside? 10. <laughs> how about you, mom? Excellent. We are exhausted. We had planned to go to the Pleasure Pier tonight because my mom loves Ferris wheels, but we were dead to the world after the wedding. We were this close to not going to the Pleasure Pier and thought to myself, what would Justin do? And so my mom and I dragged our butts out of bed and we're at the Pleasure Pier. It closes in 30 minutes. There's not a lot of time, but we get to ride the Ferris wheel. about 30 minutes and we spent that 30 minutes in line but it was worth it <laughs> so mom you don't have to tell me to narrate you can just narrate that's the magic of being in the movie we're here to capture the sunrise this is my cousin Devin Devin is a photographer go follow him on Instagram Wix pics This is a six by nine film camera. So it shoots a negative that's like this big. Nice. Yep. That's gorgeous. Oh, that's a beautiful picture, Mom. If mom doesn't get shampoo and a shower, she's going to implode, so time to go get her some shampoo. Shower. <laughs> Galveston Island has an incredibly long history that is speckled with some pretty serious flooding and tragedies that have taken a really gorgeous and thriving city and turned it into a, a quieter, ish place to be but there's some buildings that are left over from the time of when this place was quite grand because there's so many places that we want to see we're just going to be hopping from one to the next and we'll show you a little bit of the architecture around here the galveston railroad museum is at the top of a lot of what to do in galveston lists there's five acres of trains here and we happened to wander in right before an open air caboose ride so we're gonna actually ride a train today the conductor is inviting us up to the front <laughs> this is the brake this is the throttle and the reverser here decides which direction we're going operating temperature they hit the pickup they jumped up took a boot shot i mean wow Here's a semi of frozen meat sitting in the middle of the tracks. Well, Rick is an absolute gem. We got to hear all kinds of stories. It was hot, but it was very nice. It was very fun. That was wonderful. This one predates me. <laughs> Where are you calling from? A railroad station? Sounds pretty crowded. This is a lot of trains. Next up, we are in search of ice cream. So we're going to the Strand to walk about. There's lots of really cute little shops, food, and lots of places to spend money there. called ambrosia. It is chocolate with pecans and marshmallow. I have a lot of marshmallow, Mom. My favorite. Nowadays, I only find it here. I didn't realize you like marshmallows that much. I like ambrosia. Mm, okay. <laughs> We're 
gonna go looking for dolphins. Originally 434 feet long, built back in 1919 in Mobile, Alabama. What ended up happening was it hit a jetty out in Tampico, Mexico somewhere, and it tore about a 60-foot gash off into the side of it. So they brought her down here to Texas to try to repair it, and they quickly learned that you can't get concrete watertight again once it's already been breached. So then they decided to scuttle it right here as a shallow water marker. officially toast. My parents are exhausted, so I think we're gonna go ahead and head back to Houston. I have a trip scheduled with Justin, but it's looking like we might have to cancel it. So I don't know when the next Claire trip will be, but hopefully soon.